the uniqueness of uh, Ruma National Park as the only park which is hosting the rare Ron antelope among other species. The park also has a species of uh, the white and black rhinos which are endangered and we also have uh, the largest number of uh, the roadside giraffes in the country currently. Um, we also discussed uh, opportunities for partnership with the current government, especially the issues to do with the marketing, development of uh, infrastructure, especially the roads leading to the park, so that uh, uh, we can make tourism a reality in the park. We also talked about how the community can be able to benefit from tourism and the CSR projects which are being carried by Kenya Wildlife Service where the community have been able to benefit, especially projects to do with water and uh, schools. We have uh, shared the issues which we think we can be able to cooperate and we have, going forward, we'll be able to work together and make sure that uh, the community benefit, uh, the county benefits and the national government benefits and we are able to improve issues of tourism in the county. As a community, we've been lacking, we've not been sensitized enough to know what we have. One thing that uh, I will take up to is that uh, uh, I will make sure that uh, this uh, facility, the Roma National Park, is made to be known to the locals that we have uh, uh, species of different wild animals that are within that at times make people live and travel so far just to see, yet we have them around. One thing that uh, I would want to do is in collaboration with the, uh, the wildlife uh, officers who are here is that we engage the community and we sensitize them, we tell them what is around and what benefits that we can get from this. Secondly, uh, there's been a perception that uh, when they see the wild, uh, the, 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 the waders, they see them as enemies because one, the wild animals might get from the park and maybe interfere with the livestock. And uh, that has created a bad blood within, uh, uh, between them. One thing that I have to do as uh, their leader is first to make sure that uh, we coexist uh, with a lot of uh, uh, love. Two, uh, I would want that uh, we, we, we start events that uh, bring both the, the, the wildlife guys and the community so that they interact together and see on how they can coexist. Another thing is that uh, the wildlife uh, uh, officers who are here, we've been also getting a, a ripple of this because they also support the community. All the good jobs, all, all the odd jobs that are done here, the casual jobs, they engage the community. They don't come with uh, people from outside. So the community also benefit uh, from this in that aspect. Another thing is that the community that lives around, uh, they have also provided some water points that they get from that. But that is not enough. We'll still engage and see on how best we can do it better so that they get access to uh, facilities that they can enjoy uh, together as a family. Um, one thing that I would also want as a, a legislator is that anything or any bill that touches uh, tourism, as a member of county assembly and also the majority, uh, deputy majority chief of the assembly, I will make sure and also lobby within ourselves in the assembly so that if there is any legislation that touches tourism, I will also try as much as possible that we work on it and uh, we pass any bill that touches tourism because this uh, Roma National Park in the entire country it's the only home of Ron Antelope, of which we also expect people to come from all the way from Mombasa to just come and see what, and see the Ron Antelopes. Uh, uh, another thing is that uh, we also work, uh, we also try to uh, talk to the um, Ministry of Roads so that the road access, the road network around the park to be worked on, because that will be one of the things that might hinder investors and also might hinder tourists coming to Ruma National Park. Yeah.